Let's go to Matt in Kansas. Matt. Yeah. Let's go, Matt. Hi. Hey, I saw Rich Voss Friday night in Kansas City. Good. I heard there was a humdinger of a show, man. Yeah. There, there, he had some hecklers in the front row. Uh, the owner of the club came down to tell him to shut the hell up. Uh, the guy was on his cell phone, turns around and punch, punches Cla uh, Craig Glazier in the face, knocks his glasses off. You punch punch it? Oh, the owner in the face? Yeah, okay. he tells the story very badly. Rich yeah, tells the story great. Yeah, go to uh, go to Whackbag. I believe the story's up on Whackbag. Uh, Rich posted the whole story. The story's up there. Stanford and Suggs, was it? But you saw this yeah. for yourself there, Matt. Excuse me? You saw the fight? Yes. Our only eyewitness is a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> was it like uh, an old-fashioned barroom brawl? It absolutely was. That's what Rich... I learned one thing from Rich Voss. Huh? You, you can't punch a guy in the back, but you can kick him in the back. Voss kicked him? Yeah, apparently Voss kicked the guy in the back of the head because he was uh, he was beating on the owner. So Rich kind of kicked him in, okay. in the back. Rich went into kung fu and then mode? went back up on stage and started st plugging his CDs will be for sale out front. While they're fighting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so why was the guy, was the guy just hated Voss or was he trying to be part of the show? No, it was, it was uh, four guys at a table. Okay. Maybe more. Right, they're talking on a cell phone. They were, they were just being very loud, drunk, yeah. and obnoxious. They wouldn't shut up. Bonnie was on stage okay. at the time. Rich was going to leave. And then uh, he heard, like, Bonnie dealing with some hecklers, so he figured he'd stick around. Uh, Bonnie dealt with them as best she could. Then Rich got back on stage because he wanted to give these guys a shot. Wait, wait, how was Bonnie on after Rich? I don't know. But Rich got back up there, I guess, for something. Was he hosting? Probably Rich was hosting his own show. Yeah, hosting his own show. Coming to the stage, your next comedian, Rich Voss. Rich Voss. I think he just really wanted to pound these guys, so he decided to go back up. Well, let's get Voss on the phone. Yeah, get Rich. Because uh, then these guys wouldn't shut up. The owner sat behind him. So uh, Rich was tearing into him really bad. And uh, the guys started getting a little agitated. One guy then gets another call from his cell phone and starts talking real loud. And the whole crowd is... is upset with the whole situation so the owner just leans over and goes shut that off and shut up or you're getting thrown out and this is after he's told him nicely a few yeah. times the guy turns around and says who the f are you he goes i'm the f and owner and then the guy takes a shot at him at the owner and then all hell broke loose people in the audience came up to help rich is kicking the guy oh so uh, the audience jumped in yeah because it was four big guys uh big drunk guys just you know windmilling so the crowd jumped in. So right. it was like an old-time brawl. I got to get really hurt or no? I, uh, I don't know. It, I don't think Rich got hurt. This is hard to read on this screen, but I got it in Rich's words. Uh, Paul, Paul can print it up for you. Uh, no, keep it like that. Uh, Bonnie and I are playing a club in Kansas called uh, Stanford and Sons. On Wednesday and Thursday, they have a $15 ticket price, which includes all the beer you could drink, so you can imagine how rowdy right. the crowds were. But still, it was manageable and even kind of fun. Still, Bonnie and I were looking forward to the more structured weekend shows. Friday, first show was great. We both killed, and the audience was really fun. A couple of reports from the Kansas City uh, Star showed up to interview us for Last Comic Standing 4, since Chris Porter is one of their own. They decided to stay for the second show because they came late and missed Bonnie. I was going to go to the hotel for 20 minutes till it was time for me to go on. But as I'm leaving, I could hear Bonnie trashing some people in the front row. I decide to stay in case there's going to be trouble. It's an old Bruno San Martino looking dude. He spelled that of course, horrifically he wrong. He means well. Uh, dude, wrestler with a, trashy, uh, with a trashy blonde who's one of the most obnoxious C's I've ever encountered. They are with four other people, including two guys who are over six foot tall and look like hillbillies. They're all super drunk, tweaking on coke, and it's Bruno's uh, and it's Bruno's birthday, and he just got out of prison. Oh my God! Great to have in the crowd, huh? This is all one paragraph. They're all they're out of control, and they won't shut up while Bonnie is on, and even use cell phones and high five. The owner has asked them to be quiet like three times, and it does no good. Bonnie continues trashing them, but it doesn't shut them. And she ends up ignoring them and finishing her set. I go on and trash them intermittently while doing my show. They're still being horrible, but I'm handling it, and it's going well until I turn and start to really trash them. The owner comes and sits behind them. I don't want him to do anything because I only have about 15 minutes left, and there's no point. Then the Bruno guy gets on his cell phone, and the owner jumps up and yells at him to get the F off. The guy turns to the owner and says, who the F are you? And the owner says, the effing owner. And the Bruno guy retaliates by punching the owner in the face. Then all hell breaks loose. The other two hillbilly guys start throwing punches. Punches. The owner's 
friend's brother and bouncer jump in and half the audience. It's like a bar brawl right. out of an old western. <laughs> Tables are being broken. Bottles are flying. I jump in and try to grab people over the, off the owner. I kick the Bruno guy in the back, and he goes flying. The whole time, the only thing going through my head is I'm going to be able to sell DVDs now. They finally get the group out of the showroom, and the cops come. The writers are busy taking notes and getting quotes from people. I doubt this story will be about Last Comic Standing. I get back on stage and do another 45 minutes and sell 12 DVDs. That dummy after a brawl only sold 12 DVDs? Yeah. Isn't that correct? And I would it, like to cut his head off. And then he writes, comedy is hard, Voss. <laughs> Dude, is that Voss? Yeah. What's going on? You only sold 12 DVDs after an Old West brawl? First of all, this is a very, very poor area. Oh, okay. Uh, very poor. You know, the, the first show was like... 200 people, and I killed, and I sold like two. I mean, okay. these are poor people. They're either poor or smart. <laughs> <laughs> they have good taste, but so, they're poor. And, uh, Goddamn rich boss. What's that? <laughs> Nothing. Continue. So, uh, oh, you read the uh, the post. Yeah, we just read the whole thing. What can you add to it, Voss? We're well, uh, we're way more awake than you right now. Okay. Well, I mean, these. It was crazy. It was like I've never seen. You know, I've been doing comedy a long time. I've never seen anything like this. It was crazy. Uh, the big guy, the hillbilly guy, was the kind of guy that you punched, and he just smiled, you know, right. gave him energy. Well, when the guy punched I the owner... He'd punch you. Did, yeah, did, really. Did we anybody, some energy out of you. Did anybody get yourself? hurt? Wait, so, excuse me? Did anybody get really messed up or no? Well, the owner got one of his uh, one or two ribs cracked. His head was bashed apart, and he lost his shoes. He got uh, a couple ribs cracked, you know, black guy, you know. It's like they were all on, you know, it just, it just was so fast. Like four or five cop cars came, okay. you know, and they, there was one black guy in the place, you know, the cop cars came and they ran in and they got him. <laughs> uh, well, you know, he got a, like a black guy, uh, a broken rib, you know, and like he had a, you know, there was like a, a six foot two bartender that didn't do anything, just sat behind the bar, didn't help. Really? Yeah, no, yeah, a lot of them did. I guess, you know, I mean, this owner... You know, he, he's a. This guy's been in prison too. Drugs. You know. I mean, <laughs> nice you know. clubs you're playing there. Okay. No, I've heard about him. I heard. Is he cool to comics? Uh, what's that? Is he cool to comedians? Yeah, he's really cool. He's a cool dude. You know, he's. You know, he's. He's got a history though, and his brother's even scarier than him. He came running up. You know. Uh, Did your kung fu come in handy? Yeah, I kicked. It. Like he went to. Like I was just trying to grab dudes off of the owner. You know, and then. Uh, That's who pays Rich, so he yeah, wanted to make sure he didn't get injured and taken to the hospital. Yeah, no, no, I, you know, I wanted to get my cash, <laughs> right? He and then the, what do you call it? He went to sucker punch the owner, and I kicked this one guy from behind. I, you know, I, and then another dude came at me, but somebody sideswiped him. Steve from uh, Bayshore is calling you Hong Kong Jewy. <laughs> <laughs> Steve was, is funny. It was like an all-out brawl. It was really, uh, it was crazy. And then, you know, I went back on and did, like, 45 minutes after just to recap the thing. And, like, these, these, there was these writers from Kansas City Star there. And I thought, I didn't even know they were there. You know, I thought they left after, after the, you know, Bonnie went on. All of a sudden, you know, I look and I see this guy writing the whole story. He was supposed to do a story in the last comic That's before. a good story, though. Great story. It yeah. makes it a lot better than him just sitting there, you know, doing yeah. another comedy uh, story. Did it make uh, the paper? Uh, it's supposed to be on Wednesday's uh, Kansas City Star, supposedly. Jesus, news is slow in they Kansas City, They have a bunch City, of other huh? fights to uh, print up. Oh, my God. That's why you need a club soda, Kenny, who I imagine would have rushed in and uh, been barbaric. You know, there was a couple O&A uh, fans there. Yeah. You know, they I don't know if they called the show. They go, we're going to call in uh, Monday. Or yeah, a few people, and then uh, they were on the message board talking about it. And... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I got a couple last for a guy that just got out of bed telling the story that you guys already told. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we, just, we didn't know if we can get you, so. I mean, we were yeah. trying to do that and trying to plug the fact that my tickets go on sale t uh, Wednesday for November 10th at the Hammerstein. It's just been a busy morning. It really has. I hope I hope this weekend at, uh, what do you call it, Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant, this doesn't happen. Ew. All right, right. Uncle so Vinny's at Point anyhow, Pleasant? Anyhow, look, mob whacking. Did you plug that? <laughs> What's that? Did you actually plug Uncle Vinny's at Point Pleasant? Listen, you know. Shut up. Thing. Here's the thing, you know. Uh, sometimes I like to stay local. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was an all-out brawl. It was. It, all right, it, it, it was wild. All right. Listen, anyhow. All right. That's why you know. What, all right. Uh, what else you want me to say? Uh, nothing, because we're trying to take a break. Uh, and, and you know what else happened? Yeah, like you're gonna get me. Yeah.
Like we didn't see that one coming. That was us hanging up on him. All right, it's the only virus spreading across America.